the Napleton Sports Desk with Sports Director Scott Lever. Misty Opat built the Rock Valley College women's basketball program into a national junior college powerhouse before leaving a year ago for Chicago State. So who better than to run the Rock Valley program now than her former right-hand man, Daryl Watkins. He was named the head coach today. Daryl Watkins was the girls' head coach the last two seasons at his high school alma mater, Rockford Auburn. But before that, he spent five seasons on the bench with Opat at RVC as her top assistant. It's a real surreal moment uh, being able to come back to a place where I've already witnessed success, been a part of success. The championship banners that hang from the top of the Physical Education Center are a testament to that success. The RVC women's basketball program has accounted for four national championships in the last eight seasons and two national runner-up finishes. Watkins credits Opat with helping his own coaching career take off. You know, I felt like she was always just grooming me for this moment, uh, whether it was here or whether it was uh, when I went over to Rockford Auburn. You know, I felt like she was always grooming me for that first head coaching job moment. Watkins had a very young Auburn team last season. Despite that, the Knights went 15 and 15 and 11 and 6 in the Nick 10 while playing a fast-paced brand of ball. That's how Watkins wants his RVC teams to play. I like to play up and down defense. I preach it um, as teams have, from the area I've seen with my Auburn kids. We're going to get up in your face. We're going to defend the full length of the court. Taylor Ignoto was RVC's head coach last season. She moved on after accepting an assistant coaching job at the Division I level. RVC won 25 games in the N4C Conference Championship under her. All-American Maddie Hecox led the way. She's graduated, but Watkins believes RVC will simply reload with incoming recruits like the willing guard Frankie Skiro and Hananiga's Marissa Kirshner. As for the pressure of keeping RVC a national powerhouse, Watkins is ready to take that on. There's going to be pressure. But I feel like that five years that I was here under Misty kind of made it an even playing field for me a little bit right now. Yeah, um, I'm going to have my goosebumps. I'm going to be in that nervousness. If Watkins ever needs a little advice or a word of encouragement, though, he need only pick up his phone and dial old Pat. We talk every day, and, you know, she just says, hey, continue the beast that we've built there before and, you know, keep things rolling. Tomorrow, Rock Valley will name its new men's basketball coach.